Hello guys and welcome again to my channel and this time we got some work from Natim247 and he asked for some kind of, yeah, color matching. And you said you're new to Unreal Engine, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible for you. So straight into the project, I'm gonna use my old project casting again, this is the name, because yeah, I have weapons, I can shoot them and I can select or pick up different weapons, that's great. So first of all, what we're gonna do is gonna create a blueprint enumeration type. So now, mm, we're gonna uh, name it, yeah, colors enum for example, it doesn't matter so much. So now free entries for all of our free uh, free colors. So it's gonna be blue. Second one is gonna be yellow, and last one is gonna be green. Great. Save that and close it. So now we're gonna go to our gun blueprint. Don't look at the child. It's just created a child out of the main one. It just contains the code. This one contains the code of the gun blueprint. That's it. So if we go to the variables and say color, we're gonna change the type to the enumerator we just created. So it's gonna be colors enum. And this is the name we just made. So this is the same thing. And if we compile it, you can see we have the list available, but we need also to make this instance editable and expose and spawn. Why is expose and spawn? If we, for example, have this blueprint over here, the gun blueprint, you can see already we can select the color. So we're gonna make blue, yellow, and we're gonna make the third one, uh, see? And it's gonna be green, great. We have three colored weapons, that's our first step. Now we're gonna go to the projectile, I suppose, yes. We also need the variable over here. So it's gonna be color again, and colors enumerator uh, we also need this to be exposed and spawn and this is because and one more thing this projectile or the, the bullet is not spawned from the gun blueprint as you can see this is pretty empty blueprint it has nothing we are spawning it for the first person character don't ask me why I just created this way it, it doesn't matter so much it's we only need the point where the projectile is being spawned. So now if we go here and we have our editable and expose and spawn, if we refresh this node, if you create a new one, it's gonna be available immediately. But now we need to refresh it. And you can see I can select the color again. That's great. Now I need the color from the gun blueprint. So I don't need to create a new variable for the character because I have the gun itself here. This is when I pick it up, I'm gonna store the gun reference inside of this variable. So if I get it, I'm gonna get color, and this is the variable over here. And it is already selected when it's laying on the ground. So we already specified the color, which is transferred to the um, bullet we just spawned. This is gonna happen here, great. So the last thing, we created a first-person projectile, yeah? And it has a event hit, which checks the objects or actors it's, hit, it's hitting. In this case, it's gonna be, if the object is simulating physics, so it's gonna, yeah, yeah, get the gravity and everything. If yes, yeah, it's gonna add some impulse, so it looks like a uh, impact, great. And if we go from the falls, it's not simulating physics, nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna make our enemies without physics, so we're gonna go from this step in a moment. But first we go to the enemy, open it up, and we have our event graph, it's just a simple cube. Um, we also add a color here, so color and colors, enumerator, and edit table expose and spawn as well, because if we put it over here, we also need uh, to specify which color is it. But now we still see only white. We're gonna change that immediately. That's why I created all those colors over here. So go to the construction script and from here get our color and like I said, it contains the list. So now from here, let's do a switch on colors enumerator and every single entry is gonna be an output. That's great. 
because now we get our cube and set material and for every single case I can create a new material and it's in the construction script so we're gonna see it already in the editor and that's even better so now let's find our blue one color instance blue now the yellow yeah and the green okay color instance green compile save that and look at this it's blue so let's duplicate a few times like this we are gonna have some more enemies in this kind and now select all of those blue the second one was yellow and the last one was the green yeah now we see which one is which we just need to know which weapon is gonna be which because i'm not gonna change the colors of the weapon so okay we have colors but we need now to recognize them somehow so now we go back to the first person projectile because when we spawn it and it hits an object this is the spot we need to specify which actor is it and which color so in this case other is actor object reference and the enemy is an actor obviously here's a component so this is a different thing so we grab our other and we cast to um enemy yeah so like I said, my enemies do not uh, apply physics, so it's gonna just hang in the air. That's why I actually pull it out from the false, because first question in the branch is if it's simulating physics. Nope. It's gonna cast to enemy, so it's gonna check if we hit it. If not, if the object is different, or actor in this case, it's gonna run the count from failed. And just to debug, I'm gonna show you print string. It's always a good thing to debug, so not enemy for example so now but if it is an enemy actor we're gonna get its color so get color we got color of the enemy yeah now we're gonna type eq so equal and select the enumerator so we can now already se uh, also select the list so if the enemy's color equals color of the projectile and the color of the projectile is color of the gun so we actually store it already here from the gun which is held by first person character and so on i'm gonna show you soon some some conclusion okay so now this is obviously a branch which asks if the color is matching if true we are gonna destroy the actor which is actually the projectile and we want to destroy one actor more we intend to move it like this yep i like to keep it straight <laughs> okay so now the destroyed actor is gonna be the actor uh, enemy so we destroy an enemy if the color is matching and then destroy the projectile as well if it's not well nothing's gonna happen i'm gonna make a print string and now it's wrong color i don't know why i type the second word always in, in uppercase i i don't know don't ask me so now i hope this actually works already it works already i'm gonna check it out and let's select this is the green one yep it yay it works looks uh oh it's not enemy because <laughs> it keeps hitting okay it's not enemy but wrong color wrong color and this is gonna work okay let's leave that select this yep it's destroying the proper color so now i said i'm gonna show you a little conclusion yeah mm, okay once again i'm gonna draw it for you mm, we have our first person character which grabs a gun and the gun has a color which is gonna be stored in the gun but i have access always in the first person character so i have the color of the gun so i don't need to create a variable here our character spawns the projectile yeah a projectile gets the color still from the gun through the character which creates the projectile and this is the color in the projectile then then the projectile hits something for example an enemy an enemy has its own color so it's gonna be c1 for example and we hit it so we're gonna check if c1 equals c 
and if yes it's gonna do some code and if not it's gonna run some other code i hope you get it this was the whole connection between each uh, and single blueprint so now once again we created anum get it into our gun blueprint and the gun blueprint on the floor has a color selected by hand you can do it via code but obviously in this case it's per hand uh, okay so now the gun blueprint has it now we have a first person character when i pick this up i'm gonna i'm storing the gun information inside of the blueprint here so i have already the color great first person character also upon pressing the left mouse button which is fire input actually i don't have it open whatever uh, is the fire input we are spawning the projectile which has also a color stored and the color is actually the gun color great and projectile spawn we go in here it hits something yeah, actually we can skip this question and we go directly to the casting so object yeah is actually the other actor because yeah enemy is an actor and if it is an enemy it's gonna ask us if the colors are matching if yes obviously destroy if not it's a wrong color i hope you got it and i hope yeah you actually are able to solve your problem or make your project um possible and in if you want i can actually save this project for you separately so you can actually um use it in your in your yeah daily routine so you can check what's the code and so on so you can actually make it step by step by yourself and if not just follow the video and add it or implement in your own project great that's it i hope you enjoy i hope i helped and i wish you the best with your projects cheers